Thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. My job is to help you understand capital to make it easier and faster for you to grow and scale your business. So this is a great question. People always get confused by this. The SBA 7A or the 504, what's the difference? Which one's for me? How do I use these things? How do I get these things? Typically the SBA 7A, very simply, is a 10 year working capital product. You don't have to have any real estate. You can use it if you own a business already to do uh, improvements to the business, uh, pull out working capital to grow and scale the business, or there's the 504, which is meant for real estate, or big hard assets and, and stationary machinery. You can use it for you know, those big equipment purchases, but mainly people use a 504 for real estate purchases. It's a 25 year repayment term, and you only have to put down 10% in order to go purchase a piece of real estate for your uh, business. So let me explain some of the qualifications and things that you need to know for each one. So typically just credit score wise, um, most lenders will want um, you to have like a 680 FICO score or higher. Some will go down to a 640, a 660, um, but typically it's a 680 credit score or higher. What's really great about the SBA 7A product is you can use that to purchase a business, even if you don't currently own one. So if you don't currently own a business, you need to have some sort of a decent resume that explains, hey, here's why I think that I can own this business. Like I've been working in this industry for many years, I'm very familiar for it, I went to school for it, something to that degree. If you get past that, you need to put down 10% and you only have to put down 10%. So if there's a million dollar business, you put down $100,000. You will need in the business that you're buying, uh, the last three years of tax returns, you'll need your three years of personal returns and you'll need to complete a personal financial statement. The business that you're buying will need to be profitable and it'll need to be able to support the debt that you're taking out from the SBA to buy that business. There's some different calculations and ratios and a number of things that go into that, but just need to understand that business needs to be you know, profitable and to be able to afford those debt payments. So you can use it to buy a business if you don't own one. If you currently own a business, you can also use an SBA 7A to buy another business. Again, whatever the purchase price is, you only have to put down 10%. If you put down more than 10%, you can avoid having a lien on your home. So it's important to know. Or if you're a growing and scaling business in business, if you're profitable, you need to be profitable, you can take out an SBA loan, 7A, on your business to grow and scale your business. The SBA is gonna to wanna to understand that you're putting that money to work in a good fashion. So for working capital, for technology, um, for improvements to the business, for hiring, and they may wanna plan that you present for what exactly it is that you're gonna to look to use the funds for. But again, the SBA 7A, you do not need to have any type of real estate attached to it. It's just based on the business and the profitability of that business to keep it really simple. If you're in business already, you're gonna need the last three years of your business tax returns, the last three years of your profit loss and balance sheet, a year date profit loss and balance sheet, the last three years of your personal tax returns, and you're gonna to have to complete a personal financial statement for yourself. And this is really simple. It's just a list of all your current assets, real estate, cash, stocks, 401k, and any debts that you currently have. Now let's move to the 504. 504 is a great product used for real estate purchases, 25 year repayment term. You own a business, you're looking to buy a building. You're gonna need three years of your business tax returns, three years of your personal returns. The same thing, last three years of your profit loss and balance sheet and your year to date profit loss and balance sheet same thing, completing a uh, personal financial statement. Also, you know, your business, the profitability of your business will need to support the debt of the building that you're buying. So that new loan amount that you're taking out, that payment um, will need to be supported by the profit in your current business. If you are uh, buying real estate, your business needs to occupy 51% of the real estate that you're purchasing. So you can't use this for investment properties or anything like that. Your business needs to be inside that building occupying 51%. Again, you can also use it for big machinery and equipment purchases. Again, you'll have to put down 10%. So there are some cool things to know and understand. There's a number of things that you can add back in. So you can add back in your owner compensation, um, depreciation, and other things on your tax return. So if you are at a break even or even showing a slight loss, 
there may be things on your return or the business's tax return that you can actually add back in to make an SBA deal uh, make sense and work. And these are things that the SBA and the lenders uh, allow you to do. Again, that can be really complicated, um, but my team can help answer any of those questions and help walk you through that. And we have a proprietary calculator that we've built out to make understanding or knowing if you're getting an SBA deal really quick, simple, and easy. It's really important for you to know that there's a number of other business lending products out there and some of those other products, depending on your opportunity um, in your business, could make more sense to utilize. So if you are debating on what financing options right for you, or you want to know your options, or just simply have some questions about anything I spoke about in this video, uh, check out that link below. Get connected with my team. Um, we've helped secure over $2 billion in funding for business owners just like you. And my team and I have completed 27,000 transactions. We're happy to answer any of your questions anytime. Thanks for checking out this video. Keep doing what you're doing and keep growing.